Good morning students. Welcome back to online class. Today I am going to teach the geography part unit 1. India location, relief and drainage lesson. Okay. Location from this lesson, you know, what are the things we are going to learn, you know, regarding the location, regarding the physical features. Yes, location, uh, relief in the sense physical features and drainage system. Drainage system in the sense, you know, the river system, you know, the river system mixing with the ocean water. So, that is the drainage. Okay. So, location where it is located. Yes, mainly it is located, India is located in the northeastern hemisphere. Northeastern hemisphere. Regarding that only we are going to learn today. Okay. Only location. Yes. So, learning objectives, children, learning objectives, what are the objectives are there in the sense, uh, you know that, uh, so from this lesson we can easily understand that military importance, military importance, strategic importance like that it is given, military importance of India's, uh, uh, you know, absolute and relative location in the world, what type of the relation it has uh, with the other countries, uh, we can understand. Then, uh, moreover, you know, physiographic divisions of India, yes, physiographic divisions, otherwise uh, relief features, uh, Yes, uh, physical features of India. Yes, uh, especially India has uh, consisted, uh, you know, that um, Himalayan mountain, northern great plains are there, peninsular plateau, deserts are there. Yes, a desert in the sense, dark desert. Yes, a desert is there. Then, you know, islands are there. Yes, Andaman and Nicobar Island as well as, uh, you know, that uh, Lakshadweep Island. So, regarding that also we can... Uh, learn from this lesson okay then regarding that uh, great indian plains uh, great indian plains otherwise called as uh, you know northern plains yes northern plains it's a fertile area ganga yamuna brahmaputra rivers are flowing through this way okay so regarding that we can understand then drainage system drainage system in the sense just before i told the children drainage system in the sense you know the river system okay river system okay river system in the sense uh, ganga uh, Brahmaputra, yes, Yamuna, yes, those river systems regarding that also we are we can learn. Then next one, you know, that uh, Him regarding that uh, Himalayan rivers as well as the peninsular rivers. Okay, Himalayan rivers in the sense uh, the rivers, uh, uh, you know, who are uh, originating from the uh, Himalayan mountain, yes, Himalayan, for example, you know, Ganga, yes, Yamuna, yes, those, uh, those rivers, Indus, yes, Brahmaputra, yes, those rivers. Then peninsular rivers in the sense uh, Godavari, Yam, uh, that, uh, Narmada, Tapti, yes, Waihe, Kaveri. So those rivers are called as peninsular rivers. Regarding these also, these uh, rivers also we are going to learn from this lesson. Okay. Yes. The say, uh, first one introduction it is given children. You can take your book all of you. Okay. You can check your book. Then I will teach with the help of the, your book as well as uh, map. Okay, so here what is given in the sense uh, India is the seventh introduction uh, introduction area. It is given only location alone. I am going to teach children today. Okay, yes, that uh, India is the seventh largest country. Yes, the seventh largest country in the world. Okay, seventh largest at the same time second largest country in Asia. Yes, so uh, our country, you know, it's uh, it is located in Asia. Yes, Asia, Asian continent. Continent. Okay, we are belonging Asian continent yes so that's what they are telling second largest country in asia yes seventh largest country in in the world like that it's uh, given okay then moreover our country is yes, our country in the sense india is uh, separated okay separated by the himalayas from the rest of the other continent yes so himalaya is protecting us from the external danger okay from the external danger so it is a uh, you know, so what is meant by continent? What is meant by continent? The lower classes you might have learned. Is it a continent is a large land mass. Okay, large area of land mass. So, that is a continent. So, what are the continents are there? Nearly seven continents are there. Is it? A, so, what are they? Yes, Europe. Yes, Europe, Asia, South America, North America, Antarctica, Africa, Australia. So, those continents. Okay, nearly seven continents are there yes seven continents are there likewise uh, uh, oceans also there is it uh, five oceans are there what are they pacific ocean atlantic ocean arctic ocean indian ocean and antarctic ocean okay so seven continents are there continents in the sense a large area of land mass large area of land mass so this much only you should know children so this is the location of the continents so, this is the location see you can check it this is north america so northern part 
so i am going to draw the direction here you can easily understand so this is north children this is southern part this is west this is east so easily you can understand the northern part north america southern part south america see in this this is africa this is europe this one you know asia asia australia antarctica so these are the seven continents okay so here just before i told no so the himalayas it's protecting us from the rest of the continent from the external danger also it's protecting moreover you know the world world's uh, whole the total area is the total area of world how much in the sense, uh, how much in the sense 32 lakhs 32 lakhs 87263 square kilometer from that okay india covers only 2.4 percentage okay here accounts like that one word is there i am telling instead of account covers okay india covers uh, how much percentage only 2.4 percentage of the total area of the world is total area of the world the area of the world how much in the sense an area of the world how much 32 lakhs 87263 square kilometer okay so many of the indian states indian states so many indian states are there 29 states like that you learned when you are in the lower classes now 28 states are there plus 8 union territories are there not 7 union territory 8 union territories are there as yes, many of the indian states are larger than several countries several in the sense few countries of the world so the introduction para what are the things are there in the sense india is the seventh largest country in the world as well as second largest in asia then moreover it is separated by the himalayas from the rest of the continent continent meaning also i told a large area of the land mass like that i said what are the continents also i showed is it what are the oceans also i showed then moreover uh, world's area total world's area how much in the sense 32 lakhs 87263 out of that otherwise from that india covers only 2.4 percentage of the area okay then moreover i told indian states yes many of the indian states indian states are larger than the several countries of the world so these are the things are given in the book also children you can check your book children okay the next what is given okay next what is given in the sense children next heading india's land and water frontier what is mean by frontier what is mean by frontier sorry what is mean by frontier frontier in the sense what is that you know boundary yes boundary yes uh, frontier in the sense boundary li okay that's a thing okay then india shares it's a 15200 km land frontier yes land frontier with the following countries i am going to teach with the help of the map children okay you can check your book okay so this is the state map state map of india yes so i am going to explain children yes under that heading it's given india's land and water frontier frontier in the sense just before i told boundary india shares its 15200 km long land border with pakistan afghanistan in the north west area okay how to find out so here i am going to draw the direction this is north this is south this is west this is east so north west area north west area in the sense this one afghanistan and pakistan india shares its border with the afghanistan and pakistan in the north west then in the northern part you know it shares its border with nepal bhutan and china yes india shares its border with nepal nepal china and bhutan in the bhutan in the northern part okay at the same time in the eastern part yes eastern part india shares its border with bangladesh and to myanmar myanmar otherwise called as burma myanmar otherwise called as burma once again i am telling children india shares its border yes otherwise boundary otherwise frontier 
okay with the pakistan and afghanistan in the northwest area uh, and china nepal and bhutan in the northern part of india north okay then moreover it shares its border with bangladesh and myanmar in the eastern part of the country okay so these are the things are given in your book okay the next one what is given in the sense which country along with which country it shares longest border yes with bangladesh it shares longest border yes how much kilometer border it sharing in the sense 4156 kilometer 56 kilometer border sharing with bangladesh okay india shares its longest border which mean 4156 kilometer lengthiest border it sharing with bangladesh at the same time india shares its shortest border with afghanistan okay with the afghanistan how much kilometer shortest border no 106 kilometer border 106 kilometer border 106 kilometer border it sharing with afghanistan okay yes the next one here this area so this area is the coastal line excluding island okay excluding island the kilometer how much lengthiest coastal line india has in the sense 6100 kilometer 6100 kilometer coastal line it has consisted excluding andaman andaman nicobar and lakshadweep okay so including uh, islands how much kilometer lengthiest coastal line india has in the sense 7500 16.6 km 7516.6 km coastal line it has including the island okay so these are the things are there moreover india has uh, you know three sides so india um, covers okay covers by three sides ocean what are they in the sense see uh, arabian sea this is arabian sea you know arabian sea in the west bay of bengal in the east and the southern part indian ocean okay so three sides water that's what india is called as a peninsular country okay four sides also water in the sense you know island okay three sides water that's what we are telling india as a uh, peninsular country like that okay so these are the things are there the next one it is given in your book also i think so Uh, box strait okay box strait box strait where it is see this is box strait okay so it's a dividing otherwise it's separating dividing or separating which one india and sri lanka india and sri lanka this is box strait children india and sri lanka india and sri lanka it's a separating or dividing box strait separate india and sri lanka so this much only children explanation because uh, you are watching the book i think so so this is the matter which is given in your book children i told everything it uh, shares 15200 km long and land frontier with pakistan and afghanistan in the north west i told china nepal bhutan in the north i told bangladesh as well as myanmar myanmar otherwise called as burma like that also i said is it so india's uh, longest border sharing with bangladesh like that i said longest border how much kilometer 4156 km like that i said shortest border it sharing with afghanistan how much kilometer lengthy uh, yeah 106 km lengthy okay yes this much only children the next one <coughs> sorry next one you know under that uh, heading india and the world india and the world india and the world so the indian landmass so this also with the help of the map only i am going to teach children so it is given in your book also okay you can check it children this one see india's location okay so the green color like that they were shaded then shaded no so with the help of that i am going to teach with the help of this map yes so you can check it children <coughs> india is located in between yes first of all we can draw the direction children here it is given but i couldn't see that okay this is north 
this is south here I am drawing this is north this is south this is west this is east ok here so India's location is yes, India where it is located so you know very well yes, it belongs to Asian continent India belongs to Asian continent is it so India is located in between the East Asia and West Asia and in the southern part of Asia ok so this is western part this is eastern part this is southern part ok India is located in the eastern part of Asia as well as western part of India uh, western part of Asia as well as southern part of Asia like that they are telling moreover it is located in the northeast and James Pier children ok moreover Indian Ocean routes ok the routes you know Indian Ocean routes this is the Indian Ocean routes it is connecting Europe it is connecting Europe as well as East Asia and East and West sorry Indian Ocean routes you know it is connecting Europe yes Europe in the West so this is the western side you people knows very well you people just before only I do that one ok so this is West ok and moreover it is connecting the East Asian countries connecting the East Asian countries moreover it provides a strategic central location strategic in the sense military level important locations it gives ok which one gives in the sense Indian Ocean routes because it is connecting the Europe as well as East Asian countries with India ok so easily you know India established the trade contact trade contact with the West Asia, Africa and Europe ok so through Africa only it is reaching this line see yes into Europe it is reaching is it the Indian Ocean routes you know through Africa only it is moving towards Europe then you know India easily had a contact close a trade contact with the West Asia, Africa and Europe with the Southeast and the East Asia so this much only children it is given I told ok the next one you know India is a subcontinent why India is called as a subcontinent what is the reason what is the reason yes uh, you can check your book uh, children ok so India along with India you know other countries so what are the neighboring countries Myanmar Myanmar you know otherwise called as Burma like that I said Myanmar Bangladesh Bangladesh otherwise called as East Pakistan ok Pakistan in the sense that is West Pakistan it is located in the western part of India that is what ok West Pakistan Nepal Bhutan and Sri Lanka so these countries you know together uh, this country is also called as a subcontinent why what is the reason India is called as a subcontinent now why this region yes the particular region as possesses possesses in the sense have yes have a distinct distinct in the sense different variety of continental characters ok continental variety of uh, characteristics are there in physiography what does mean by physiography physiography in the sense uh, you know physical features of the particular place ok for example is uh, India has consisted Himalayas northern great plains are there plateaus are there valleys are there rivers are there is it deserts are there islands are there then so many linguistic uh, you know linguistic in the sense a uh, language speaking people are there languages are prevailing here yes that's what yes so that's the reason you know India is known as subcontinent moreover climate too, variety of variety of climate you know northeast monsoon is there southwest monsoon summer climate winter climate is it so that's a climate natural vegetation natural vegetation what is that you know in the lower classes you might have learned tropical evergreen forests are there tropical deciduous forest is mountain forest thorn and bushes you know that uh, you know tidal forest are there that is a natural vegetation the next one minerals says more minerals are available in India yes ex, uh, you know petroleum even you know available in Narimanam it is the name of the place ok so in, uh, petroleum you know coal yes uh, you know that uh, mica bauxite aluminium gold copper so many minerals are available in India then moreover human resources we people as yes, variety of people yes are living in India ok so hence you know India is known as a 
subcontinent like that they are telling okay india is known as the subcontinent so along with the other countries india along with the other countries of myanmar myanmar in the sense just before i told burma okay burma then bangladesh bangladesh otherwise known as east pakistan yes pakistan west pakistan yes nepal bhutan yes uh, and sri lanka is called as a uh, is called a subcontinent so this region and all have a distinct distinct in the sense variety of difference or different characteristics in physiography climate physiography in the sense physical features mountains are there plateaus are there plains are there valleys are there yes so and uh, climate natural vegetation yes natural vegetation natural vegetation minerals are available human resources so because of that only india is known as subcontinent okay children yes the next one under that 1.1 yes 1.1 what are the things are there in the sense uh, location yes location and extent yes it's given see you know you are when you are in ninth class also you are in the online classes only you couldn't understand many things i think so so india extends from 8 degree 4 minute in your book you can check it children 8 degree 4 this one you know apostrophe yes that one minute minute 8 degree 4 minute north to 37 degree 6 minute north latitude okay so latitude you people knows very well yes uh, you know very well because uh, that's a horizontal line okay see this is a horizontal line this is the latitude lines okay this is the longitude lines this is the longitude lines okay children yes this and all imaginary lines only in order to find out the time yes in order to find out the time of the particular place yes uh, you know we drawn like that with the imaginary line okay so here what is given in the sense india extends from 8 degree 4 minute north so here you can check it i will show the map children so with the help of this map you know you can easily understand i think so this is see 8 degree 8 degree 4 minute india extends from 8 degree 4 minute to 37 degree 6 minute 6 minute north latitude okay so that's the thing the next likewise only 68 yes 60 8 degree 7 minute east to 68 degree as yes, 68 degree 7 minute 7 minute east to 97 yes this is see sorry this is 97 degree 25 25 minute 25 minute east longitude see this one 68 degree 7 minute so this is the extension of india extension in the sense enlarge spreaded yes so that's a meaning okay then moreover india is located in the northeastern hemisphere northeastern hemisphere yes then southern most of the country is yes, southern most of the country is called as pigmelian point yes where it is pigmelian in the sense what is that you know uh, indra point indra point where it is in the sense see check it this is indra point children you know during uh, 2004 yeah 2000 uh, yes for tsunami time you know it was uh, submerged this is the indra point okay it was submerged under the ocean okay yes the southernmost point the southernmost point of the country is pigmalion point or indra point yes it is located in the andaman and nicobar island then southernmost point of the mainland that is kanyakumari our district okay this is kanyakumari i am showing the point here children with the help of the book you can check it everything the southernmost point of the mainland of india is cape comorin otherwise called as kanyakumari the northern point you know this is the northern point northern point na indra coal indra coal is uh, spelling c o l it is given in your book children you can check it that one okay the northern point of the land northern point of the indian border they are telling here northern border indra point to kanya kumari okay so that's a thing the next one you know uh, the north south extension so you can check it this is the north south extension 
so from here to here okay so already they drawn the line so you can notice that okay how much kilometer lengthy in the sense 3 to 1 4 kilometer 3 to 1 4 kilometer yes here it is uh, so they were mentioned see from north to south 3 to 1 4 kilometer so likewise you know from the east to west east to the run of kutch to arunachal pradesh 2933 kilometer 2933 kilometer okay so this is the extension then in the middle in the middle you can check it children tropic of cancer tropic of cancer line you know divides india into two equal parts two equal parts okay how it is dividing in the sense uh, northern part of india you know northern temperate land they are like that they were divided southern part of land southern tropical land the, like that they were divided okay so this one you know 23 and half degree east longitude line so this is the uh, tropic of cancer line this is the tropic of cancer line okay so this much only children the next what is given yes uh, next one you know what is given in the sense uh, the same thing everything what is uh, given in the book everything i explained to children here with the help of the map i told this one just before only i told okay indra point it was submerged under the ocean during 2004 tsunami okay so it's uh, it was located in the andaman and nicobar island that is considered as the southernmost point of the country that is a peak million point otherwise called as uh, indra point likewise you know southernmost point of mainland of india mainland in the sense kanyakumari okay then likewise you know the northern point is indra coal okay so from that from there to kanyakumari from the indra coal to kanyakumari okay so this one also just before only i explained children north to south extend 3214 kilometer extension from indra coal in jammu kashmir to kanyakumari in the southern part okay likewise this one the east west extension uh, from Ran of Kutch, yes, Ran of Kutch, where it is located? It is located in Gujarat, okay, to Arunachal Pradesh. So, how much kilometer lengthy? Uh, 2933 kilometer lengthy, okay. So, this much only. Then, just before I told the Tropic of Cancer divides India into two equal parts. So, what are they? Northern temperate as well as southern tropical land, tropical lands. So, this much only children. The next one, you know, this one when I was telling what I told, I don't know, Tropic of Cancer, 23, uh, 23 and half degree north latitude line, east like that I said, I think so, okay, 23 degree, 30 minute north latitude line, latitudes in the sense, what is that, that is a horizontal line, longitude in the sense, that is a vertical line, sir. Then now I am going to explain about the uh, IST, okay, IST full form, what is that in the sense Indian standard time, Indian standard time, okay, yes, the longitudinal difference between Gujarat in the west and Arunachal Pradesh in the east is about 30 degree, what is the meaning, what is the meaning, I am going to explain now children, so what is the difference between uh, Gujarat as well as Arunachal Pradesh, what is the matter, I am going to explain. In your book also it is given I think so in Arunachal Pradesh area it is located in the western part of the India western part of India in there you know two hours early itself sunrise as well as sunset okay at the same than the sunrise at Gujarat than the sunrise at Gujarat so two hours earlier itself sun is rising or setting in Arunachal Pradesh area okay than the where than the Gujarat area than the Gujarat area so, in order to avoid these differences, Indian government, okay, after 1947, after getting the independen uh, independence, uh, Indian government started to follow the Indian standard time. Indian standard time, it is considered as the, uh, you know, you know, that uh, central meridian, central meridian, yes. So, central meridian is passing, okay, central meridian is passing through Mirzapur, yes, through Mirzapur. Yes, Indian standard, the central meridian is passing through the uh, Mirzapur and uh, it bisects the country in terms of longitude. Yes, so India's central meridian is 82 degree. This is very important children. India's uh, central meridian is 
82 degree 30 minute east longitude line. Okay, so this one only passes through Mirzapur. Mirzapur where it is located in the sense it is uh, located in Allahabad. It is located in where? Allahabad. Allahabad where everything it is in uh, Uttar Pradesh state. Okay, Uttar Pradesh state. So the IST, IST in the sense Indian standard time is 5 and a half hours ahead of the Greenwich mean time. Ahead in the sense what is the meaning? You know, faster. Okay, ahead of the, the difference. Difference from the GMT. Okay, 5 and a half hours. How it came everything I will explain now. Okay. So, India has been politically divided. For the administrative convenience, India has been divided into uh, 28 states. 28 states and 8 union territories. Here in your book, 9 union territories like that it is given. When I go through the net, you know, I found out 8 union territory. That's what I am following. I am following that. Okay. So, 8 union territories for the administrative convenience, India has been divided into 28 states as well as 8 union territory. Then, now I am going to explain the, uh, you know, that IST. Okay, so you listen carefully children. You know, how to calculate IST. Okay, Indian standard time, how they were calculating. Yes, yes, listen. The total degree of earth. Okay, total degree of earth, everybody knows very well. Total degree of earth, you know, 360 degree. Yes, total degree of earth 360 degree. Okay, so they were dividing 360 degree into 24 parts. So, 24 parts are divide panirkan. Okay, everything imagination only, imaginary lines only children, 24 lines. Okay, 24 parts. parts. So, therefore, 360 divided by 24. Okay, so listen, total degree of the earth is equal to 360 degree. Okay, so 360 degree, the world, you know, totally they were divided into 24 parts. So, 360 divided by 24. How much? 15 degree. Okay, 15 degree. So, each line, you know, represents 15 degree. Okay, 15 degree, that is one part. Okay, yes. So, 15 degree, one part, no. 15 degree in the sense, one hour. Okay, so each line represents 1 hour. Each line represents 1 hour. Okay, so that's the thing children. So, okay children, yes. So, here you know this is imagination only, imaginary globe. Okay, globe. So, each line you know to totally 24 parts are there. Each line represents 15 degree. Yes, how it came? 360 divided by 24 so, answer is 15 degree. So, 1 part is equal to 15 degree. 15 degree in the sense 1 hour. 15 degree in the sense what is that? 1 hour. Okay, each line you know represents 15 degree like that I am telling. Each line represents 1 hour. Okay, that is the mean. Okay, children. So, this is the 0 degree meridian. 0 degree meridian in the sense green which is located here. Okay, green which is located here in London. Okay, London area. Okay, London area only green which is locating London area green which is located so 0 degree meridian from this only we are going to calculate till India okay till the position till the location of India you know very well when I started the lesson when I was teaching I told you uh, that um, you know IST time IST time in the sense 82 and off degree east longitude line is crossing across Mirsapur like that one word I said Mirsapur where it is it is located in Allahabad Allahabad belongs to Uttar Pradesh state okay children yes now I am going to explain children one part alone I took ch children here okay one part I took this is the meridian prime meridian yes that is zero degree just before I told each line represents okay each line represents the you know this is uh, 15 this is 15 degree 1 hour okay 1 hour over this is 30 degree 2 hour over 45 degree 3 hours over the next one 60 degree 4 hours over 75 degree 5 hours over 90 degree 90 degree 6 hours over okay 6 hours over okay children so each degree 
each line represents 15 degree 15 degree in the sense that is 1 hour like that I said so 15 degree 1 hour over this one 2 hours over this is 3 hours over this is 60 degree in the sense 4 hours over 75 degree in the sense 5 hours over when it is 90 degree 6 hours over yes I told you people yes that uh, through Mirzapur the line is crossing that is 82 82 and of degree east longitude line okay so the now we can easily find out the difference between GMT and IST is is the difference okay how much here 6 hours till 6 hours we came is it so here 82 and half degree east longitude so 30 minute we have to reduce that is 5 and half hours is ahead of the green beach mean time so the difference between London time and Indian time is 5 and half hours okay so through this you know we can easily identify children students one more method is there uh, how to find out the difference between that uh, green beach uh, mean time and uh, Indian standard time one more method I am going to explain children okay the distance between uh, green beach uh, mean time meridian time and India is uh, 82 and half degree east longitude okay so which mean 82.5 degree okay so just before I told you know the each line represent 15 degree is yes, 15 degree uh, considered as a 1 hour okay 15 degree in the sense that is 1 hour yes therefore okay 82.5 degree divided by 15 such a way also we can find out okay so now we can get the answer 5.5 5.5 5 in the sense 5 hours 30 minutes so such a way also we can find out okay once again shall I tell Yes, the distance between Greenwich and Indian time is 82 and half degree east longitude. Okay, so from 0 degree it is starting. Yes, prime meridian. So, this one you know 0 degree. From 0 degree it is starting till that 82. 82 and half degree east longitude line only it is crossing across India. Is it? So, the distance only we are, we have to calculate. Okay, children. Yes. So, 82.5 degree divided by 15. Yes, is equal to 5.5. So, that is 5 hours. 30 minutes okay thank you children